In a surprising twist of events, Sir Keir Starmer found himself amidst a whirlwind of controversy after meeting Taylor Swift at her star-studded Wembley concert. What was meant to be a simple family outing transformed into a political saga involving VIP police escorts and government interventions, raising questions about the intertwining of celebrity culture and political privilege. Sir Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, has made headlines not just for his political maneuvers, but for his unexpected rendezvous with international pop sensation Taylor Swift. This meeting, which occurred during Swift's spectacular concert at Wembley Stadium on August 20, unfolded amid a backdrop of political scrutiny and media speculation. The event was further complicated by allegations that senior labor figures had intervened regarding the pop star's security arrangements, specifically her controversial VIP police escort. The aftermath of this meeting has sent ripples through political circles, as questions arise about the propriety of government officials receiving complimentary tickets in exchange for political favors. As Starmer and his family shared a 10-minute chat with Swift and her mother, Andrea, the implications of this encounter became a topic of intense debate, shedding light on the blurred lines between celebrity influence and political integrity. The details surrounding Sir Keir's meeting with Taylor Swift have sparked a media frenzy, as reports revealed that the Labour leader received complimentary tickets and hospitality worth approximately £2,800 from Swift's record label, Universal Music Group. This revelation came amidst growing scrutiny of the government's role in facilitating Swift's VIP police escort during her London shows. Although Downing Street firmly denied that the tickets were a thank you for government pressure, the proximity of political figures to Swift's concert raised eyebrows. Critics questioned whether political intervention and security arrangements for a pop star was appropriate, especially given the financial implications of the free tickets. The backdrop to this encounter is equally compelling. Swift's concerts in London drew massive crowds, and her celebrity status necessitated significant security measures. Initially, the Metropolitan Police expressed reservations about providing a taxpayer-funded motorcade for the pop star. However, following discussions involving senior labor ministers, including London Mayor Sadiq Khan and Home Secretary Yvette Cooper, Swift was granted a blue light escort for her concerts. This turn of events has led to allegations that political figures may have leveraged their influence to ensure the singer's safety, further complicating the narrative surrounding Starmer's meeting with her. The content of the conversation between Starmer and Swift reportedly touched on serious issues, including the tragic stabbings in Southport that occurred during a Taylor Swift themed dance class in July. The meeting was devoid of discussions about Swift's security arrangements in London, despite the significant political discourse surrounding the matter. As the Prime Minister faces increasing scrutiny over his office's involvement, Starmer's spokesman reiterated that operational decisions regarding security are ultimately left to the Metropolitan Police, distancing the Labour leader from any wrongdoing. The statement echoes a broader trend of government officials grappling with the implications of their personal interactions with high-profile celebrities. Adding another layer to this intricate web of events, Starmer's ex-chief of staff, Sue Gray, was reported to have been involved in negotiations regarding swift security directly with her mother. This connection has raised concerns about potential conflicts of interest and the ethics of political figures leveraging their positions for personal gain. Amidst the scrutiny, the labor leader has publicly committed to transparency, announcing plans to reimburse the cost of the tickets and hospitality received during the concert. This gesture, however, does little to quell the burgeoning narrative that intertwines celebrity culture with the political arena, where appearances can quickly escalate into allegations of impropriety. Despite the controversy, the implications of Starmer's meeting with Swift extend beyond the realm of celebrity gossip. They underscore the evolving relationship between politics and pop culture, where the influence of celebrity can extend into governmental affairs. As the public watches closely, the incident serves as a reminder of the need for transparency and ethical considerations in the interactions between political leaders and influential figures in the entertainment industry. In an age where every encounter is scrutinized under the public lens, the intersection of politics and celebrity is fraught with potential pitfalls and opportunities for both sides.
As the dust settles on Sir Keir Starmer's meeting with Taylor Swift, the incident leaves behind more questions than answers. What began as a simple family outing has transformed into a complex narrative of celebrity influence, political ethics, and public scrutiny. The meeting not only highlights the potential conflicts of interest that can arise in the overlap between politics and celebrity culture but also underscores the importance of transparency in all public engagements. As the labor leader navigates this tumultuous landscape, the intersection of politics and pop culture will undoubtedly remain a topic of interest, shaping public perceptions and political discourse in the months to come. In this unfolding saga, one thing is certain, the worlds of politics and celebrity are more interconnected than ever, and the consequences of this relationship will continue to be felt across both spheres.